everyone, this is Jennifer Beamer, owner operator of Actually Diet Art by Science. This is the daily vlog, episode number 31. And today I wanted to sort of make a conclusion video for the Navajo Clang video that I made. There's a two part series out there on the internet. So you can go there and uh, see how to do this if you don't know how. So this is the yarn that we made during that video. And I sort of wanted to talk about what I was suggesting for the ends of the yarn. So I'm going to autofocus, or I'm going to manual focus this because the autofocus doesn't work as well. I really want you to be able to see this. Okay, so you see how there's these three pieces. Now we made this yarn by taking one single and making three plies out of it. We make long crochet loops and add twists, and you get a three ply yarn from a single. So here's the end, and you can see how it's just in three pieces like this, and it's going to continue to unravel even like when you're washing this. So what I just do is I take the yarn, maybe I'll do it in the opposite hand because this is the way I usually do it. <laughs> My dad was left-handed, and growing up I do think a lot of a lot of things backwards, so you'll have to forgive me, but hopefully you understand what I'm doing here. So I'm going to just make a loop here to the bottom. Some like you knitters probably get this occasionally. This happens to me at least once when I'm knitting something. Um, I'll get a knot. <laughs> so this is just a single overhand knot. I'm going to pull it all the way to the end and make it nice and tight. And this is going, it doesn't matter how much unraveling this end does and sometimes I actually cut this really short so that you can't see that. Or so, you, so like this part doesn't become annoying. But this is going to keep your yarn from unraveling during the washing and uh, twist setting process. Um, and whenever I'm going to do my knitting, I will leave this knot here until I am completely done with all of the knitting. So when I'm getting ready to weave in the end, um, I'll cut this knot, this knot off, thread this nice piece through um, like a giant large op like large opening um, uh, darning needle or I, I'll use like a crochet hook to weave this end in but I keep this like this just to make my life hassle free <laughs> and um, of course when you have like your this isn't a full bobbin but you know if you have the full bobbin or if your drop spindle is really simple sorry it's kind of loud um, you know, you'll wind this into a skein and set the twist, and of course, you'll make this similar type of knot on the other end, so that the end that you started with, so it'll just be like this. And then, um, you know, you can do whatever you want with it. If you don't, if you don't want to have it, you, of course, you don't have to do it this way. This is just my method for making sure that it doesn't come unraveled. Anyway. So, if you like this video and you want to see me do more videos, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Uh, comments are always welcome. If you have any suggestions for further videos, um, let me know because I definitely take requests. Sometimes the question just needs to be asked and, you know, a lot of other people are looking for that same thing and you just never know it. <laughs> so. Um, you can also find me on Facebook and Twitter, and I also run periodic sales on those two venues, so if you are interested in purchasing anything from my Etsy shop, definitely check out there. Um, like me. <laughs> Don't just steal them. <laughs> and, um, you know, you'll be privy to information that most of the people in the world aren't. So, join the club. Thanks for watching. Bye.